All right, everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Life in the Lair. And I'm covering an article from Daily Mail from December 18th in regards to several, oh, three retired generals warn of a civil war if the 2024 uh, election results are not accepted. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest here. First of all, as somebody who's, I spent a lot of time in the military and of, you know, 30 some odd, 33 years, I have known thousands upon thousands of officers, probably two, I, I don't know personally, but I've dealt with and had to communicate with on a regular basis, probably a couple of dozen generals. And, you know, a lot of full bird colonels, probably twice as many full bird colonels. And uh, I'm going to be quite honest, of those 24 generals, two were decent. The rest, you could tell, had been promoted up the chain because they were masters at political backstabbing and dick sucking and ass kissing. And they had no problem burning the careers of people around them to the ground to make themselves look good. When uh, I talk about what three generals are talking about, I just want you all to know that I don't give a fuck what those pieces of shit have to say. I am not a fan of the officer corps of the United States military. Of all of those thousands of officers I've come across, 12 were good, like great. And of the 12, I think three or four of them are now dead. That is fucking it. All right, and half the guys that are left were retired as uh, lieutenant colonels or full bird colonels because they just refused to kiss ass and play the political game. All right, now, from the the, shag, the shagnanigans that we saw in... Uh, you know, the last election cycle, that ice cream socials were disturbed with additional uh, after hours, you know, ice cream cones being delivered. It was completely off the hook. And then you had the Supreme Court stating that one state had no, f no, f no finding or grounds to challenge another state in the union. What, which, in my opinion, you know, is pretty much that that was the first the first shot into uh, the the head the head of this uh, republic. I mean, we are not taking steps to back away from a two way rifle range situation. I'm hoping that uh, we can back back away without anything you know crazy happening. Uh, because a lot of people out there don't seem to understand what, it, what what is going to happen. If, you know, there's a breakup of the United States and it's peaceful, uh, we are going to have a huge economic implosion. It's not even going to be a, a, a Great Depression. It's going to be a an implosion. And that's going to affect the entire world. All right. I'm not going to go into... Um, why that will happen i mean you guys are not stupid so i mean you understand how that works and uh basically a large portion of our currency's value is in the belief that our currency will be honored no matter what and what do you think is going to happen to that belief if the united states breaks into three or two three or more portions. All right, that's gonna it's it's over. It, it, it is going to be a wash. All of that time and effort people put in to work in these jobs to retire is going to come to an end. You, you know, you, the people of this country will not be able to ever, ever retire. And because of the destruction of the nuclear family, uh, you're going to see a lot of you know, women and elderly people, and I could be one of them, working until the day you fucking die. You will never, ever get that respite that you were told you would get, and it was basically pulled away because a bunch of people out there are crybabies and 
want free shit and they think you know that the world works a certain way which it never will and they're gonna they're gonna tank the whole system i've also mentioned in the past an election and i believe it was after world war ii and a lot of the individuals realized that there was some funny business going on and they got a bunch of veterans together they stormed the polling area recounted everything and realized that the ice cream social that they had attended had been messed with now for this country to move forward we have to have complete and utter faith and in the ice cream social system that we use to put our leadership in place and it is my belief and the belief of probably half this country that that is totally gone now and um, moving forward you were going to see a hint in 2022 especially if they continue to do the craziness that they did for the first ice, ice cream social which they did in front of everyone and as far as it looks look as far as it's looking like to me they get they got away with it you, if you cannot get that back that faith in the electoral system that we've used and you know it's a done deal it's just a matter of time before people start packing up and it begins all right now i don't know if these three retired generals were their you know where their um basically uh, where their faith lies or what have you uh because at the beginning of this i told you exactly what i think of you know, 98, 99% of all of the high-ranking officers out there to include generals. You know, while they are a general, they wield a lot of power. But when they retire, they're just nugs like everyone else. All right, so they're, they're giving a warning about the 2024 election. I, I'm thinking we're going to see a, a hint of what's going to happen in 2024 at the elections of 2022. All right, now I also... It is my personal opinion. If there are militias out there, you guys need to get political. Okay, maybe run some of your people for local office. Get the veterans involved. All right, and we can start taking things back from the bottom up and work our way up to the top. And another thing that might uh, dissuade a lot of this uh, after-hours uh, ice cream cone craziness that takes place, if... There are militias on standby near the polling areas. Not close enough that they interfere, but you know, they know the people at these polling sessions know that there are individuals standing by who are watching closely what is happening. Okay, and they may or may not interfere because the courts are not doing anything about it. This is going to be one of those um, come to Jesus moments when uh, this craziness uh, it, you know, starts to take place. The first wave, well, that was about voting. <laughs> the second wave, that was about the pill. <laughs> Double wham. The third wave, it was about securing more rights than men. What does the fourth wave look like? Find out and arm yourself against the war for your soul and this country. You need these books here. Surviving Fourth Wave Feminism, <laughs> Volumes 1 and 2. They're on sale now. Click on the link below in the description because if you save masculinity, you're going to wind up saving the world. So they're talking about the January 6th attacks that happened. Now, I've re I have reviewed a bunch of the footage. And the doors were not bashed down. People, you know, were not, you know, doing violence or any of that craziness. Yes, they did walk into the Capitol. Um... I saw a lot of the barriers being taken down and a lot of the guards stepping aside and letting the individuals walk within. 
Okay. Now, this is uh, former Army General Paul Eaton. Never heard of him. Brigadier General Stephen Anderson. Uh, that's not really ringing any bells. And former Army Major General Andonio Taguba made a worrisome claim in a column in the Washington Post. Uh, EIB, no CIB, 10th Mountain. I'll say, you look at this guy, he's got an airborne wings. Yeah, he was a general, but yeah, got an EIB there. So here are all the generals. Now here's some footage of the uh, January 6th craziness. Now I, I was in DC on January 6th in the morning. I watched Trump speak on the big screen and then I immediately left with the, um, about a third of the group I was there with and we went right back to uh, Virginia and I just watched the rest of everything on TV and I, I heard about the so-called storming and um, it didn't look like that to me. Okay, so they're talking about polarized political atmosphere. Yes. Okay, we do have that happening, and historically speaking, uh, when you look at uh, the Civil War in Spain, in Colombia, and some of the other uh, South American countries, before it took place, there was always a major polar shift, you know, in the politics and so forth within the country. And usually, well, what can I say? Um, a communist slash so, uh, socialist um, portion wanted to take power, and there was a huge, uh, you know, two way rifle range took place. That's what we have happening here as well. We have a lot of individuals who think socialism and communism is the way to go, even though it has already failed to the tune of hundreds of millions of dead. And they come back and they say, well, it just wasn't done right. Well, it wasn't done right because you can never do anything about human nature. We're evil, hairless monkeys who just crave more power. And when they do get in power, they go off the rails, which is what we're seeing right now. Okay, now Eaton, who was in charge of training Iraqi troops during Operation Iraqi Freedom between 203 and 204. After he okay, so what happened is he got passed up for the next star, and he got rotated out of the out of the military, which happens all the time. All right, so it's Taguba, who's seventy-one, spent thirty-four years in the military, so he's in about a year, year and a half more than me, and he's been out for quite some time. So I mean, it is what it is. Okay, now. Let's see, thousands, okay, they're talking about the January 6, 2021. Thousands of fiery Donald Trump supporters stormed the Capitol building, resulting in the death of five people. All right, who actually are these five people that died? Is that even accurate? Because that, that's not really, I, I don't think that's true. Five people. I know an individual had a heart attack. They said he was hit with a, a fire extinguisher, which turned out to be complete bullshit. Uh, they had a guard shoot somebody who's getting pretty much getting away scot-free uh, for that particular murder, and that's what I'm going to call it. Um, but it is what it is. Now, it says that it was a failed bid to stop Congress from certifying Joe Biden's pres presidential uh, election victory. All right, so I'm just going to say this right now. That the system we have in place has been there for 250 years. Now we have the internet. We have all kinds of crazy stuff that's very that happens very fast, and we need to put together um, another one or two fail you know, stop gaps or fail safe systems. Um, because if there is any craziness in ice cream socials moving forward. Um, there needs to be a system in place to address this in a, a timely manner that doesn't require you know filing million dollar lawsuits because that those take forever i'm sorry but you know something happened during the ice cream social that it was done in front of everyone and a lot of people are pissed off about it rightfully so okay now if they don't want 
any of this craziness to happen, they're going to have to make legitimate leaps forward to try to root out the corruption, fix the system. If they don't do that, there's nothing that is going to stop this from happening. All right? It, it, it's it, it, That has to be done. If it's not, it, this it's going to go down. And it's... And there are so many people out there who just want to be left alone. And when they get reduced to basically poverty and their lives implode because a bunch of people want free shit, is going to get fucking ugly. All right, it's already starting to get that way. I mean, we've been locked down for two years. You know, it's, co it's winter. Prices are going up. Okay, and I've said this before, and I said it again, historically, if people can't feed themselves, can't work, you know, can't, you know, take care of their kids or heat their house, you, you better watch the fuck out, because you're going to get a lot of people moving in a direction you don't want them to do it. It is evident that the whole of our military was caught off guard. When I watched all of this on TV, it did not look like a coup. I mean, there wasn't violence. It looked like they were admitted. But uh, granted, what do I know? I only have people sending me videos and, and, and their their viewpoints. And I'm able to piece it together in that regard. Okay. It, but it was not a coup. In the back of my mind, I asked some questions. Like, what are they going to do? When it's not 160 people, it's not a thousand people, you know, it's not a hundred thousand people. But when you have hundreds of thousands of people descending upon the capital of this country and everyone armed to the teeth, because the Second Amendment is still legal, what is going to happen then? I don't know, and I shudder at the thought. All right, I hope that never happens. But that, that is an armed insurrection. That is what it looks like. Not what we saw on January 6th. And uh, these three generals, I, 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 I'm just going to say it again, they can all fuck off. Now, we are starting to see exactly what the socialist communist left wants for this country they literally are going to push this green new deal as a pretext to shut down the economy and basically reduce us back to a third world nation and it is completely unnecessary now do i do i think there's climate change well the climate of this earth has always been changing uh, do I think we are nasty fucking pigs? Yes, I do. Okay, and a lot of the litter you're seeing in the, in the oceans and the river systems is not in this country, but it's all over Asia and China. All right, now they're pushing this, you know, vax mandate, and they're pushing it on kids. They're basically forcing everyone to take a medical procedure and, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a no, uh, uh, and that, that's what's going on. Okay. Now here's some sentences here for some of the individuals who are in, you know, that the so-called January 6th, we got a 24 months probation, 90 days home detention, blah, 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 36 months. That's just. I, you know, if it's more than 12 months, chances are they're convicted of a felony. Felony. Uh, 36 months probation. Three years probation. And a lot of these people, from what I understand, were held in uh, you know solitary confinement. Were not uh, you know charged in a, a quick manner. A lot of their constitutional rights uh, were violated. And this is par for the course. They try to get you to take a plea to something that they probably are not going to be able to convict you of. And for the whole, you know, court sentence to take place, there's gonna it's going to be a public hearing, public record, 
and so forth. And I don't think they want a lot of that public information in the public. So, I mean, here it is, right? All, this is crazy right here. 41 months in prison. So, if these people showed up, they weren't violent, and they're getting this kind of you know treatment and sentencing, what do you think is going to happen when they show up and they mean business? Are they, are they going to quit? Are they going to surrender? Call it a day and say they're sorry and, and sing kumbaya? It's not going to happen. It's not going to fucking happen. Last word. I hope we're able to pull back from, you know, the brink of the two-way rifle range. But to be honest, everyone out there needs to start organizing. Put together your little prepper groups. And then, uh, you know, slowly see if you can knit some of those together. And, because uh, there's strength in numbers. And when shit hits the fan... You have a better chance for you and your loved ones if you are in a group and you're not alone. And you are armed, you know what you're doing, and you know what's at stake. All right? All right, I've, I've run off at the mouth long enough. You guys take it easy.